Former Ozami City Vice Mayor Nova Parahinog is sentenced to life imprisonment despite her claim that the police planted evidence following her family's inclusion in former President Rodrigo Duterte's narco list. A Quezon City Court has meted Parahinog with a penalty of life imprisonment and a fine of 500,000 pesos after she was found guilty of illegal drug possession. Parohinog was arrested on July 30, 2017 in Barangay San Roque in Ozami City during a raid where her father, former Mayor Reynaldo Parohinog Sr., mother Susan, her brother and sister, and 12 others were killed. The former Ozami's vice mayor claimed the policeman planted shabu inside her cabinet drawer to justify the case against her. Parohinog had identified footage from the CCTV inside her room where she was seen locking her cabinet drawer and giving the key to her lady companion for safekeeping. But the court refutes this claim, saying it was bare and unsupported by proof. According to the court, while the footage was not offered as evidence, there was no explanation as to why the CCTV failed to capture the planting of drugs inside the cabinet. Parohinog is currently detained in Taguig City Jail and will be turned over to the Correctional Institute for Women. Reggae singer Kokoy Baldo died in a vehicular accident in Bacolod on Friday, December 8. His wife Sam confirms his death through the singer's official Facebook page. She asks for privacy during this hard time, adding that updates on Baldo's death will be shared through his page. In a separate post, his wife appeals to the public to refrain from sharing photos of the accident as it only causes distress to their family. Baldo was a finalist of The Voice Philippines Season 2 in 2015. Dubbed by his fans as the Philippines' Bob Marley, he also won the ABS-CBN reality competition Your Moment along with his rock reggae band Juan Gapang. In a social media post, Baldo's The Voice coach Sara Jeronimo pays tribute to the late singer. Senators are asking law enforcers to conduct a full investigation into the December 3 bombing at the Mindanao State University in Marawi City following the arrest of one of the suspects. In a statement, Senator Aimee Marcos lauds the arrest of Jafar Gamo Sultan but urges authorities to continue their pursuit until the masterminds are arrested. Authorities said Sultan was an alleged companion of a certain Omar who, according to witnesses, was the one who placed the improvised explosive device at MSU's Dimaporo Gymnasium. Senator Marcos also urges the public to work together for lasting peace in Mindanao and not to let corrupt officials exploit the MSU tragedy for personal gain. Meanwhile, Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel reminds arresting officers that suspects are still presumed innocent until proven guilty. The explosion occurred while a morning Advent Sunday Mass was ongoing inside a gymnasium at MSU, leaving four people dead and at least 50 others wounded.